guys welcome back to my channel my name is Janet I hope you guys find yourselves well and at home um today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB haul <laughs> this is my first and second order combined I do have two more orders coming in a third I haven't placed a third yet but yeah um, I think for those orders I might not do a haul I might do like a haul try on or something um, just so it's not a haul, but I was just really excited to share at least this first um, order with you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like the video and enjoy it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and, you know, hit the like button at the end. And yeah, let's get into it. It's a little chilly considering that it's April 30th and, you know, tomorrow it's going to be May. <laughs> so my first item, let's start with skincare. Um, this is just a repurchase, and this is the Ole Henriksen um, Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream Moisturizer. This is what the box looks like, and then this is what the packaging looks like. This is just a repurchase. Um, this is probably my fourth, third or fourth container. I have one that I'm using up now. The first one that I tried, plus maybe third or fourth container that I have. Um, so definitely... You know, a holy girl skincare item for me. The next one, um, I wanted to get a more emollient um, moisturizer, like I said in my recommendations and wish list video. And I did pick up the, what is it, the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. I picked up the Mini, but in this order that I'm about to place, I'm going to pick up the full size. I really wanted to try it, and I just didn't want to invest the whole price, but now I'm going to, I guess, invest double. But when I do get to travel again, I'll be carrying this one instead of the big one it's not that big but I just like travel sizes to be honest it's more convenient um just to keep on my skincare section um so yeah even for that it's more convenient for me but yeah really excited to continue to try this one out I don't have a review on it yet I've only used it once I really do like the texture but I'm not you know fully yeah, but the reason I bought it is because I've been having some dryness around my mouth area due to the fact that I've been wearing masks a lot and um and it's just been really dry around here but I feel like it has been like I've reduced the dryness um just with you know a lot of moisturizing and some oils um but I definitely think that the vegan moisturizer is helping. All right, <clears throat> moving on to the exciting part, which is makeup. I have a little bit too much energy. Okay, um, I need some water too. Okay, anyways, moving on to the exciting part. Let's start with a primer. So, I picked up, I cannot believe I picked this up, you guys. Whew, considering how expensive it is. I cannot believe I picked this up. Okay, anyways, I picked up the Tatcha Silk Cam, the liquid, the liquid silk canvas. I have the small, the mini of the regular the original original canvas I had that one but I only wanted to get in mini and I think I would only repurchase it in the mini just because I don't want it to go bad and I do have like the dupes for it the elf matte one and then the regular or the original one so I think I'll just pick it up in the mini I do I really really do love that primer but I might pick it up for the next sell. anyways this is what the pack Look how pretty it is. I haven't opened yet. I have not tried this primer yet. But how pretty is this? Like, I mean, all oh, their packaging is beautiful. Like, you get what you pay for, for sure. And especially because I've heard nothing but good things about this. So I, I am glad I purchased it, even though it's hecka expensive. So, the next thing that I purchased, I'm going to go in the order that you know you would normally apply these things. Or these items is powder I finally did it too this was an expensive purchase too I picked up the airbrush flawless finish from Charlotte Tilbury the powder and it's beautiful look at this it's so beautiful I don't the only reason I don't like these reflective plasticky thing or plastic components is just because it gets so dirty so fast but that's what it looks like. It's probably the best way you could see it. And then the inside. It looks like this with the mirror. Like that. And then the powder right here. 
I got the shade medium two. And I really wanted to get this for under my eyes, not so much my entire face, but I wanted to get a powder that was very nice, very silky, very finely milled, specifically for my eyes. And I'm going to try it out. Can't wait to do that. This is a very lux luxurious feeling, honestly. Um, it just feels nice to have it in my collection. I like to go with eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I did pick up the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. And I just forget how little these are, honestly. Like, these are little, 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 little. Like, look at this baby. It's literally a baby. But it's gorgeous. So that's what it looks like. And I, that's what I have on my eyes today. I'm assuming can see my eye makeup that's what I have on today and I've only tried these three shades right here and that's what I have as my transition shade that's my outer corner and a little bit work into the crease and then this is going to be my this is my lid shade I use a different um, product for my inner corner but those are the three that i used today honestly for this shade it had no kick back in the pan no kick no kick it no kick back in the pan this one did have some but i to me it doesn't bother me this is just information for you guys to have and this shade is duochrome um and i haven't tried either of these this is more like a topper i did swatch them um, so let me swatch them for you guys really quick i'm gonna build these shades just so you guys can really see them um, but you can always, you know, different pressure. Okay, so this is the first shade. Right here is Pixie. This one is Vintage Taupe. This is 60s. No, they're not the best. But I just want you guys to really see the colors. This is industrial. And this is oh. This is going to be Galaxia. Right there. Let me swatch a little bit more, but as you can see it's a, it's, an, it's a topper. Like it's a very pretty topper. But it's a topper. I did hear that this, I mean, some of them are repeat shades from other palettes. But again, I don't have those big palettes, so I'm okay with that. But that this Galaxia shade is a better improved formula from the way, where it, from its original palette placement. So those are the six shades. They're very pretty. And um, I like them so far. Like, they blended really easily out. Honestly, I didn't have any difficulty blending it out. Very unique color section. Um, but I'm going to keep playing with it and come back to you guys with some more, like, a better review, of course. Um, the next item, I got the Anastasia Lash Brand. I got the mini. Uh, again, I don't mind minis. I really get the minis, especially for high-end mascaras. I just really get that. <laughs> so I'm not going to open it up because I still have some mascaras opened and, um, uh, yeah, but I wanted to take advantage and just try it and I've heard nothing but good things on this one, too So um, and I love Anastasia. So Okay, the next two are blushes. So I am just on like a blush Quest you guys I'm coming towards the end of my blush quest. I have one more blush to collect I mean, of course, there's so many blushes, but like on my list of blushes that I I wanted to have I needed to try out on my blush quest, I have one more blush besides the order that I just placed right now um, that I'm going to purchase. And after that, I will be making so many blush videos. But yeah, let's get started on the ones that I did get. So I picked up, wow, that was really loud. I picked up this new Jouer blush duel, and it's in the shade Darling. And it has the shades Embrace Me and Love Me. Okay, let me, let me show you guys. So this is what the new blush duo looks like. And it's in the shade Darling. And it, ha oh, it has the shade Embrace Me and Love Me. And they're both satin. 
Okay, let me try to get the best. Okay, they're both satins with a little bit of glitter. I feel like this one has a little bit more glitter. I have been trying them out because I heard that they were um a little bit light. And I didn't know I had vitamin E. That's very interesting. But that's what I have on today. And I really do enjoy this blush. I like the formula a lot so far. Um, I don't know if my, you know, I'm, this is just my second time wearing it. So I'm not sure if I'm in love yet, but I do like it. And it does build up because I build it up a lot, but how do I put this? It's not, it, they're very, very subtle, soft blushes in the most beautiful way. And I'm okay with that because I have more blushes that are very intense. And I like these for when I'm going to have a little bit more of a dramatic eye look. I know that I'm, I, I won't be able to overdo it with these blushes. And I like that they have a more... Um, neutral shade they're both very neutral and I don't have a lot of light pinks like this and they're just so beautiful so let me get some swatches for you so I probably I'm gonna fall in love with these to be honest but like I said they're very very subtle so let's see that one's love me you're probably not even gonna be able to get to see the swatches and that one's embrace me like I said very subtle Again, I really, I'm enjoying them so far, so we'll see. They build those faster. I don't tap off my brush like I do with other blushes that are more pigmented. I just leave it on there and then just buff it out. And to me, you might not be able to see it because the light, the ring light just kind of fades it out. But in natural light, they're so beautiful. So, yeah. So, I got another Buxom, Buxom, I got another Buxom wonderless primer infused blush and I got it in the shade Dolly been wanting this blush forever and that's what it looks like I did swatch it already but I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right now and that's what it looks like very mauve -y color but I love the formula of these blushes which is why I wanted to pick it up and I don't have anything like this pinky mauve so I'm glad that I did but I, just the formula alone the formula alone is just so worth it it's a beautiful formula it makes your cheeks like glowy within they're not matte blushes they're just mm, makes your cheeks look delicious deliciously like glowy I forgot to show you guys one thing and I know I have already on and you know <laughs> throw on some lip gloss for this scene real quick so um, I also purchased Patrick Ta blush and I purchased the shade She Seductive. Again, I don't, I, I really love this packaging, but it's a love hate relationship just because it's like it gets dirty so fast and it's really hard to film with it because it's so reflective. But that's what it looks like. And then it has a nice mirror. And then it's a mauve plum shade. It's supposed to be the darkest that it's in the dog hair. That's it's the darkest that's in the series or in the in the line. And it's not really that dark in person to be honest. Maybe I want to try it on, but it's a very delicate uh, light blush. So it's very you don't you don't want to apply it very. It doesn't go on very pigmented all at once. You kind of have it's a buildable blush. Is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to swatch it really quick. See, once you see it, I have to like really build it for you guys to see it. Look, even... Like, I think you can see it on my finger. It's a very, very light blush. Not like a light blush as in the color, but it's buildable blush. Not too pigmented. And I'm going to see what it looks like. It's supposed to be a velvet blush, but I do like the color. It's very pretty once it's built up um so i can't wait to work with it actually play with it and use it so wish me luck with that and yeah the last item that i picked up on this particular sale was this new anastasia lip gloss set so the shades are nude bella peachy and sparkle lava these are pretty guys let me show you some swatches okay this one is nude very nude color I love the smell of it it has like a slight 
soft vanilla scent. My baby's sleeping in here. He's gonna, his birthday is tomorrow. Well, yeah, when you guys see this video, his birthday is tomorrow. This one is Bella. I know, swatches aren't the best, but hey. This one is, let's see, Peachy. That's really pretty too. It has like a, it has a peach base to it, but with gold shimmer to it, like a gold corally shimmer to it. And then Sparkle Lava is a sparkle, like an explosion of sparkle. That's what that looks like. I hope the camera is doing it justice. Okay. And it's literally an explosion of lava, like sparkles. Let me see if it you can see it on there. You see that? That's such a pretty, like, um, like shimmer in it, but it's not gritty. It is so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. So, that completes my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up. And, <clears throat> like I said, my other purchases will be more like a haul try-on. Um, let me see if you want to see anything in particular with any of these items. And like bef uh, like always, everything that I have on is listed down in the description box. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.